in some ways helpful to think about um, different different economies and how they've evolved. Uh, I mentioned Washington consensus and Beijing consensus. Now, certain people will assign Beijing consensus to to kind of socialist theory and um, and to communism. Uh, part there are a number of aspects of China's development which can also be very useful and interesting to think through and link to other types of models of development which might not necessarily which are not necessarily associated with governance or you know democracy um, or lack of democracy which is what people tend to think what some people tend to think of when you say Beijing consensus they think that's really about governance but it's not there are also aspects of of the economics. If you're looking at African economies, when a government is thinking about how to uh, deal with the agricultural sector, different economic frameworks will give you different answers. One economic framework will say, well, focus on the smallholder farmers, meet, try and meet their basic needs, give them cash. That's a basic needs approach to development. Another model will say we need to provide fertilizer subsidies and at a massive scale and we need to even and subsidize fertilizer not just through fer subsidizing fertilizer itself but through subsidizing transport of fertilizer and a whole range of aspects of the economy that that's a chinese maoist type approach um, and and yet another model will say we need to have the private sector big business mm -hmm.